over now is this box. It's still quite big. I want to put it as the size of the screen. I use a TTGO display that has connections to the sides that uh, I don't require. It has two, uh, three buttons, two inputs. I use one for this sleep. The second can be to rotate the screen in case you are left eye, you want left eye or left right eye or even change faces as a smartwatch. Uh, the third can be customized by the user. This small part here is the prototype now to use as a smartwatch. Going to have the band around. Then you just fit it here and you always use your power connector to fit and to make it secure. Now with one hand it's difficult to show and also in the monocle version you put it there and then you just fit it. I like these kind of connectors first because they are very... Um, practical, eh? not you don't want to damage these things, uh, but also because as a companion, if you're in the office, you can put it like this, you leave your phone to the side and you have their small window, let's say to the internet world where you can see what your colleagues are saying and over as also support for notifications, so you have your phone and you can work calmly uh, with it. I hope that with the development of our community that soon we have uh, our own PCB open source, obviously, and that finally we can get to everyone. At this moment, the electronic board you can say the TTGO I'm buying for 18 euros. Then I had it the battery that now I'm using inside, uh, if you can say inside, blah. It's more 6 euros, it's a 500 uh, milliamps, and uh, it's quite easy to to build because printing the full over, plus the parts that you need to use this as a monocle and as a smartwatch, you can print all at once and takes around 2 hours, which I think is quite awesome for what it can do. Here it's a test of the offline version. The uh, first thing that you got to do, uh, but only once, is to define the language. I'm already saying sorry because I have a strong accent and that can influence how it catches. The first time you do this, it will prompt you to a download. You just got to wait and then it will run normally. Now we loaded English. You have the functions. Start starts normally. Call me. It knows my name, so it only starts showing test if somebody called me by my name. Sound sensor. He sees the every sound, and if a sound goes louder, he starts uh, trying to get um, text or speech from there. If not, it goes back down. It's a battery saving mode and. Uh, future have there the call that would be to do this while there is a phone call and the user can reply via text and the phone will speak for it in this place so hello everybody hello everybody um, this is a test in English This is a test in English. This phone is very old and has a crappy microphone. Even so, it works relatively well. I'm speaking slowly because of my accent. As you can see, it's quite good. We're gonna hear languages. Now, in languages, we have English, French, German, Portuguese, and Italian. Uh, we can add as many as you want. 
want. This is a very very small um, speech model. It's a hundred megabytes per uh, um, nationality per country, and they can go up to four gigabytes. But from my tests, the maximum would be seven hundred, and it doesn't impact that much the quality or the battery usage. So now I'll try the German language. That's not also the best thing with my accent, but I'll try it. Hallo Leute! Wie geht's mit dir? Das funktioniert ganz gut. Ein große, großen so alle. So alle. Das ist besser, als ich hab gedacht. So, it seems like only the French language till now it's a big problem. Portuguese Brazilian, Portuguese normal, like Portuguese Portugal works, but the model is Brazilian, so sometimes it glitches. I'm gonna try to put a Brazilian accent for this. Estou falando num sítio onde há muito ruído de fundo. Onde? Onde? Tem de ser brasileiro. Brasileiro. Meu sotaque é uma tristeza. É uma tristeza. As you can see, it works well. Once more, with such small voice models it's uh, really hard to capture when you have an accent but these models are universal they are developed also for other apps and you can get them i use these ones just for development purposes never spoke italian before so i'll try now Ciao, bello. Come vuoi? Andiamo a casa? Questo è il mio piccolino. Fantastico. Well, that was awesome. So next I'll try to show you all, because this is offline version, doesn't have still the connectivity over Bluetooth to the headset and to the blah. Because uh, I'm really bad at Android programming. Um, uh, the other one it's developed uh, in App Inventor that I am relatively comfortable with and there it works. I hope that in the future as our community grows that we can eventually put them together. So I'll change now to the other one. So this is over the online version with Google Engine. Google doesn't let us uh, recognize the text continuously only on the um, Pixel phones. If you use outside that, you'll get to or reboot every time there is a silence or buy the service and it has costs. 
Um, I have the the program um, restarting the recognition from time to time, and that can create some problems uh, while capturing uh, voice. But like I said, the engine that we are using it's the other one. This is just to test some functions that I'm not able still to program on Android. We have this would be. Uh, more the settings and uh, that uh, functions that I want. So can I have settings, change language, offline mode, uh, download the, of the voice files, turn on and off notifications, that will be shown on over. Uh, play warning, like this. Oh, no sound, sorry. This will say this is used Please to. Please talk calmly, clear, and leave time between sentences. To help uh, people to work with the with the captations um, as it is now. You can change the warning for another thing like "Sorry, I don't listen. Can you please um, try to communicate slowly?" So my device can capture whatever you want. Here you have the connections to the devices. Once connected, you have action extra functions. I still, I'm still working on this. Still have uh, some glitches naturally. This is a beta, but if on betas I want to turn public, so you can help <laughs> when possible. I'm gonna try to connect now to over. The glitch that I have now just let me get the first text and then I don't know why the app, the plugin that I have from App Inventor stops sending the information to it. But soon this will be solved. Just need to waste a little bit more time. It's on. This I got to stretch a little bit to see everything. Connect to over. Over is here. Connected. Hola. I forgot this was trying. I forgot that this was uh, in English. Uh, now I stopped the captation, so it's not sending. Here you're gonna have the display time of the text. Uh, and like I said, it's important to have the right language. Uh, here you can connect to... Blah. And that I'll show you next. Okay, this is Blah. It's still a prototype, as you can see, with a lot of gummy pens here. It works like an old Nokia, but with these letters that you can here customize what uh, do you desire them to talk? I'm gonna see if I have sound here. So when I press A, B, and C. Yes. <laughs> it's in Portuguese, so it, uh, she speaks with accent. Hello. Yeah. And then you write as the old T9. So multiple clicking. Like, let me see if I can uh, still remember. Yeah, that was... Uh... Oh. And then you have here two big and small letters, the caps. Here is backspace. As you can see, backspace. Up. Hello. You can long press to get the numbers. One press to delete on the backspace. Pegar 
long press on the cardinal to speak. So let's pick something more. H no. L L O and speak. Hello. Yeah. So this is the point where the project is now. Uh, I don't think that I can do way way more, but I'll do my best. I'll continue trying to make this a reality, but I would like to see um community behind this to push it forward uh, so we can set a standard for what should be the next uh, main thing in accessibility. I would need an Android programmer to help me just um, jump from MIT to Android Studio and solve these problems. Nothing really special, but for someone like me that it's not a programmer, it's quite hard. And then maybe one electronic engineer to help redesign, not obviously not creating from zero the boards, so we can have a really nice um, monocle and uh, blah. I'll keep you posted anyway from any kind of development I've been doing, but I think it was necessary to show uh, what it is and what it can be to see if finally this can start uh, gaining some traction and reach who needs it.